after the snow, after the ice melts, potholes. Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell shows us how a pothole develops. One of the worst parts of driving are the potholes that your vehicle may run over. Sometimes you don't see them until the very last minute, and then you're left with an average bill to due to a pothole of almost $500. And according to USA Today, Tennessee ranks fourth for the worst pothole problems, and in Nashville, ranks number one for the worst cities for potholes. Let me show you how they all form. First, all of the snow and ice that we've seen will work through the cracks already in the road. This will weaken the base of the road and as the water freezes it'll begin to expand the pavement and send the pavement up and then your vehicle begins to run over the risen pavement that'll weaken it more and increase more stress on the actual roadway and then finally as warm and drier air moves in the water will evaporate there and it leaves an open hole underneath the surface of the road and the vehicles that begin to pass over that surface due to the weight of the vehicle the road surface collapses into the hole and that's what leads to the pothole formation and with time the hole will expand and as more and more vehicles cross over it, it'll definitely lead to an increase in a deeper, deeper hole. Now to report the potholes on the interstate or the state highways, you can call the TDOT hotline number. This number is going to be 833-836- 8349. Now for local or county roads, you'll want to reach out to your local public works or street department. I'm meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, News 2.